Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel, Watercolor Painting in the Afternoon. I'm Beth, and today I wanted to paint this cute little turn. This is uh, from the book, The Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Birds, the Eastern Religion, uh, religion the Eastern Region. And today, yes, I want to paint this cute little turn. This is a royal turn. I saw plenty of them in uh, Cherry Grove when I went to the beach this past week. And they're such beautiful birds. I don't want to paint him looking down though. I want to paint him more like this guy, but with a closed beak. So I made a little compromise. I did follow the picture some, but I also made a compromise and did my own thing. So that being said, I also yesterday uh, went to Michael's and that's always like a really really dangerous thing for me to do isn't it because I picked up these here pencils let me see if I can show them to you without changing my my focus here too much uh, these are watercolor graphite pencils made in Germany and I'll try to say the name right it's a uh, straightler straightler something like that, and they come in 4B, 6B, and 8B, and the 4B is the lightest, 6B and 8B are darker, and you just draw with them like you normally would, and then you take your uh, water, you know, whatever brush you have, and, and you paint over um, the mark you just made, and it kind of turns into this watercolor graphite paint. And it's really cool. So I thought I would do my turn today with these pencils and maybe um, one or two other little watercolor pencils as well. So let's get started. So off we go. Uh, first thing I did was just a very sketchy drawing. And I will tell you, um, I did not trace this. I just, this was fairly easy to do. And so I just <clears throat> started drawing. Also, at the end of this video, if you'll stick around just for a second or two, I do a test to see if the pencils will, if you can erase the pencil marks after they've had water put on them. Um, the short answer to that is no. But if you'll stick around, you'll see that test being done. So here what I'm doing is just um, drawing the outline of the bird and as I said, I didn't want his head pointed down. I wanted it more looking up. And so I made that adjustment as I was going. And you'll also notice that I was very um, hesitant, I think. I've never worked with these pencils before. And I wasn't sure how to start. Or, or uh, do you make the dark areas first? Is that okay? Do you make the light areas uh, so I was just kind of going back and forth with the pencils and uh, with my decision making as to what to do next. I think it turned out okay in the end, but you just, you know, I think when you're working with a new medium, you have to really uh, feel your way. And that's okay because, you know, it, maybe it turns out well, maybe it doesn't. But you learn. Uh, you learn along the way. And so I was just making faint marks at first and then I would get a little bit bolder here and there and um, wasn't sure whether I wasn't sure how well the graphite would uh, become fluid whether or not I could make a small mark and make a big shadow with that mark or whether it took a lot of pencil you know a lot of graphite to make that shadow so like I said I'm feeling my way and um, we'll see what happens. I'll let this play out a little bit. This was a, an orange watercolor pencil that uh, somebody gave me some watercolor pencils not too terribly long ago, and that's what I was using. But you can use just regular watercolors with it as well.
starting with the head, I began to put the water to the graphite and was really startled at how dark the color was when I, um, when I put water on it. And I decided to do the head first because, you know, if you mess up the head, you might as well start over. So that's what I was doing. Here I was beginning the shading process underneath the wings and underneath the belly and um, trying to figure out how much I needed um, as far as pencil marks were concerned, how much would just kind of smudge and I could pull, pull the graphite down to make the shadow. And um, I wanted to see if it faded well, you know, if it blended well into the paper. I think it did a really good job of blending. I also think you could use this for shadows with regular watercolor paint. So if this had been, say, a colorful bird, um, I might have been able to actually use a color on the uh, on the painting and the graphite would just kind of mix in with that color. Um, here I was trying to put some of the graphite pencil on wet paper to see what happened there and I wasn't quite sure what I was doing there so I kind of quit doing it but um, I'll give that another test at another time. And here I saw, <laughs> I saw this yellowish light um, on the underbelly of the bird. <laughs> so <laughs> I put that light in there, that yellowish light, and then realized as I was putting it in there what that yellow probably was. So <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I was starting to laugh at myself. I had to cut that part out. But um, yeah, anyway, there you go. And here I'm making the post that the bird was standing on and um, I switched to real time because I wanted you to see really how quick and easy this is to work with. Um, you're just drawing and then going over it with a paintbrush and, you know, getting your shadows in, right in there and it's pretty easy. All right, and there he is. I'm not sure whether I did anything else to him or not, but um, yeah, I think I did, yeah, yeah. I wanted to darken a few of the shadows, so I took the um, 8B brush, or 8B pencil, and came back underneath the bird and got the shadows a little bit deeper. I wanted those values to look like shadows, so um, that's what I did there.
And the last little bit that uh, you'll see after this is simply the test that I did with uh, the pencils to make sure that, uh, to find out whether or not you could erase. And you can see the one on the left, the square on the left, was dry and it erased just fine. The one on the right, I'm pressing down pretty hard on it and it's not erasing very well. It does erase some, but not terribly well. So if you want to really get the erasing done, do it before you're, uh, you put the water on it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll join me and paint along with me and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.